patent agent and working as an independent IP law practitioner in the domain of patent, trademarks, copyright and design. He has completed his MPharm with specialization in pharmaceutic, uh, pharmaceutics from TB College of Pharmacy, Gandhinagar in 2010. He also holds PG Diploma in Patents Law degree from Nalsar University, Hyderabad. He has completed his LLB from Gujarat University and he has also completed the Advanced International Certificate course on IPR and Business. So, um, uh, I would like to welcome sir and uh, thank you so much for joining us and, and, uh, and enlightening us for uh, this particular topic. We heartily welcome our all panel members, Professor Dharmesh Darji, uh, HOD of ICT, Professor Umang Thakkar, President of IIC, Dr. Amrit Patel and Pro Professor Dhawal Satwara, Vice President IIC, Professor Tanvi Puri, Conveyor of IIC and other staff members for giving their valuable time for such events and grow themselves in each domain. We heartily welcome you all on behalf of Ganpat University. So let's get... Let's start and grab this opportunity to learn something new. Uh, now I would like to request our expert, uh, Mr. Amit Kumar Patel, to start the session. Thank you very much, Madam. Thank you very much for a kind introduction. And uh, very good morning to one and all. It's really a pleasant morning in the winter. In the winter. Really thankful, Professor Dharmesh, Professor Uma. Uh, Dr. Sa and uh, all the management team members from the Ganpat University for inviting me over a, inviting over here and sharing some ideas, thoughts with all of you with regard to IPR, how it is associated with our life and why it is important in today's life, right? So I would request to kindly uh, make myself host so that I can uh, upload my presentation. Yeah, I'm not able to share my presentation with all the participants. Shukla sir, please do the needful. Uh, yes sir, you can, uh, you are the presenter now. So you can present uh, on your screen. That is a share option. Yeah, it's presently disabled sir. You have not activated. Okay. Yeah, just a second sir. Yes, sir. Now you can say. Yeah. Thank you, Sukla, sir. Most welcome, sir. Okay. So please let me know whether my screen is visible to all the participants. Yes, sir. It's visible. Please yes, sir. Okay. So today we are going to discuss about the what is IPR, how it is associated with our life, how it is evolved, and why it is important in today's context. What are different types of IPR? What are its criteria? What care should be taken care? Right? Uh, as an academic players, we have, we have many misconceptions, and we are not taking due care. We are not understanding. This is our creation, this is our IP, and we are not protecting it by means of suitable IP instrument. So what care is also required for getting them patented or trademark or copyright or design protection. So that is the basic con uh, context uh, with respect to today's, today's class or a presentation. It would be very introductory. We will not go into depth, but we will definitely go through uh, many of the basic fundamentals, right? with respect to IPR, academic system, and the society and business. So, first of all, look friends, uh, before we actually go and jump to the patent or IPR per se, try to understand how this system has been evolved, right? From where the need arises and what it actually, uh, what domain it caters to. 
So first of all, before we go to IP per se, try to understand the fundamental and that is starts with the respect to property. So when property means we consider as something we own, something we possess, right? Something is which is ours, our own, right? Ownership. So property, when you ask a property, broadly the property is categorized or divided into two broader areas. Two broader areas. One is a tangible property and another is an intangible property. So tangible property, it means anything which has a physical form. Any item which has a physical form in the nature can be a tangible property. It can be a tangible property. And once it has a physical form in the nature, it can be measured, it can be touched. So the example for tangible property includes anything which you can see from your eyes. Right? The device via which you are connected, your mobile phone, your laptop, your computer, right? Your electronic items, your house, your land, your shops, your jewelry, automobiles, your apparels, including of clothes, watch, footwear, anything, right? Whichever you see, it can be. This is a physical property and it can be owned by means of property. So when you ask, say that these are the things, you know that. And when you are asked, when there is a question, how you will prove your property or ownership on these articles, which are physical in the form, right? So you will say that we will prove our ownership based on the registration paper or with respect to bill on your own. How you will prove this laptop is your, so you will find out the bill and you will show, this is the product number and this is my name. Both are matching, that's why I am its owner. When you are saying how you can prove your ownership on your home, you will show the registration paper. So these are the tangible things of physical form and you will prove your ownership with respect to bill and the registration paper. This is very well known and we have clear understanding about all these things. Now another, another type of property is an intangible property. is the physical form. One has a physical form, another has a no physical form. So intangible property is the one which doesn't have any kind of physical form. As it doesn't have any physical form, that's why you cannot measure it, you cannot touch it, you cannot see it, right? So it doesn't. Those all comes under intangible assets. So the question arises over here is, First of all, the thing which doesn't have any physical form. So how you will prove that, yes, there is something existing. And another question is how you will prove your ownership on those, those items which doesn't have any properties, physical form, right? So this is the area. This intangible asset is the area, intangible property is the area which caters to the items which doesn't have a physical form in the nature and it primarily includes creation of the human mind. Human mind creations, right? So with respect to your ideas, your thoughts, your creations, right? So when you are saying, this is my idea, I have developed solution for this problem. So which is fundamentally your thoughts, your ideas, what is going on in your uh, friend's mind or uh, in your teacher's mind or in your family member's mind, you are not able to see it, right? And then, so these are human mind creation which doesn't have a physical form in the nature. This belongs to intangible property asset. And here the question comes is, it doesn't have a physical form in the nature. And then to prove, how to prove your ownership. So this is the area we are going to discuss about intangible assets. So in the medical terms, right, in the medical science, we usually say, right, to our friends or our any of our colleagues, right, so when they are not performing any task properly, we are usually saying that in Gujarati, magat che ke nahi, right, khabar pade che ke nahi. But in terms of medical science, there is no human being 
no live human human being without a brain there be human being who has a uh, defic- uh, deformities and because of that they don't have one uh, arm one leg one ear one eyes or any other physical challenges but in terms of medical science there is no live human being who is live without a brain right so every li- live uh, living human being has a brain and with that brain every person has a capability to think to generate the ideas right so all these human beings are capable enough whatever would be they, they are thinking they are capable enough they are eligible enough to protect their thoughts ideas by means of this ipr instruments and in today's time the value of intangible asset is increasing for each and every either a bigger larger corporation to a small msme company to a academic institution and it equally important for the individual human being as well the importance of intangible asset for each person to a larger organization is increasing day by day in today's time so tangible property as we discuss anything which has a physical form your money gold automobiles land buildings or any item which has a physical form an intangible asset intangible property anything which is generated from your brain right any kind of your creativity whether you are uh, giving a painting whether you are writing a novel whether you are uh, uh, solving any technical problems whether you are taking one good photograph whether you are making a script of one movie writing a song taking a videos all these comes under intangible assets right so intangible property and we are going to discuss about this area intangible property what are they why and how they can be protected and based on the type of your thought there are different instruments by which you can protect them so this is the area right the area which discuss about the ownership the laws regarding the intangible property that all are catered and covered under the broader area known as a ipr intellectual property right so this is the broader area which deals with the creation of human mind and taking ownership on those creations so look before we actually go to the field try to understand what actually this protects and what this area means so the its meaning lies within the words itself intellectual property right so just break the words and try to understand it meaning intellectual 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 means anything which is generating from your brain we commonly say that intelligent intelligence right we are saying this boy is more intelligent than others so that is with respect to any factors like his weight his age his calculation uh, his uh, uh, education background right or his gender no intellectuality doesn't have any relation with any of this factor a one boy having a 60 kg weight is more intelligent than a 40 kg boy no the person with a doctorate degree is more intelligent than a you can say a diploma holder no there is no such relation so intellectual so all those intellectual intelligence it is generating it is directly related to your brain brain so anything intellectual means this is related to your brain anything which is generating from your brain is related to is it is known as intellection of human brain, creativity of human brain second is a property property means ownership so taking ownership on your human mind creations human mind creations taking property so taking ownership is the property and the rights so once it is your property you have a certain right as like your physical asset say for example you have a land plot on a cross road so you have a rights whether to build a shopping center on it whether to build a, a hotel on it whether to build a residential complex or a commercial center 
for a garden or a parking plot. It's your property and it's your rights. So similarly, the intellectual property rights. So the human mind creations taking its ownership and when it is become your property, what rights you have? You can license it, you can sell it, you can transfer to others like your physical assets or physical property. So this is the broader area which gives you the ownership, taking ownership on your human mind creativity and once you take ownership, what you can do with them, your rights with those intangible assets. So that is the, you can say, uh, uh, understanding about IPR. So this is intellectual property. It deals with all the kind of human mind creativity, whether it is related to your thoughts, your learning, your brain, creativity, ideas, or anything, anything, right? Anything which is generating from your brain all comes under the area of intellectual property, right? We usually say, right? Bade se bade, uh, bade se bade company bhi, uh, it is based on one idea, right? So one idea can be worth of 50 rupees or one idea can generate a thousand crore industry. So that is the value and that is the power of idea. So this is, you can say, a fundamental or definition of IPR. Look, and this is, you can say, fundamental. It is really important to understand it's fundamental about the IPR. So it usually gives what IPR actually means legally, right? It usually gives creator. Creator. This is bande ne isko invent kiya, this bande ka original thoughts hai, ideas hai, wo creator. It usually gives creator an exclusive right. Exclusive right means excluding others. Sirf or sirf aapko rights diye jayenge. Exclusive right. Over the use of his creation, jo creator ne bana hai, uske exclusive right, sirf or sirf, for the use of his creation, for a certain period of time. These are time bound rights, right? Unlike your physical asset, like your grandfather owns it, he has given to your grand, uh, great grandfather to grandfather to father, to you, children, grandchildren. Like, however you are maintaining, it would remain with yours. But these IP rights, they are time bound rights. And these are granted by the government, right? No one can say that uh, your faculty member, your institute or your university or any professional or any company, they cannot say that I will give you the IP rights or a patent or a trademark. They can only and only granted by the government. So look, it usually gives creator, creator, jisne bana hai usko an exclusive right. Sirf for sirf, usko baki sabko exclude kiya jada hai for the use of his creation for a limited period of time and these are granted by the government. And important, another important aspect of IPR is they are territorial in the nature. It's they are country specific. The country where they are registered, they will be valid in those countries only. Right? If you have created something and if you are filing for patent, it's patent into India, Indian patent office. It means your patent will be valid in India only. If you are not protected in other country, means China can replicate it and can sell it to all the countries except India. Right? So it seems like, right, this is an injustice, right? I have but disadvantage. So friends, in the similar situation, reverse is also true. It means some fellow, some researcher, some great companies or a research institutions, if they have invented something brilliant into US, Germany, Japan, Korea, right? And if they have not filed for their creation into India, you all are also free to use them without taking their permission, without paying single rupee to them. So this is also an important characteristic of IP, IPR, right? And in today's time, right, we are living in the knowledge era, information era. So in today's time, the day by day, the value of intangible assets, 
the value of ipr is increasing from individual person to a small company to academic institution to a larger corporation to government for all the person this equally applies the value of intangible asset for everyone is increasing day by day if one of your friend has is if he is saying that i am the owner for 100 acre of land so he might be more richer than you on today's time but if you create something if your brain is very fruitful and if you create something really innovative right based on those inventions you can build great 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 wonders right so that is the power of ideas human mind creativity so in today's time not only for the larger companies but this equally applies to each and each and every human being as well the value of intangible asset in today's time is more important than tangible asset so there are different types of intellectual property intellectual property right so this is the broader you can say a superset intellectual property right superset and all these patent trademark copyright design integrated circuit geographical indication trade secret all these are the subset these are the type of ipr right and each protects different human creativity what are they we will see in the subsequent slides right so ipr intellectual property right it's a superset and covers a different types of ip instrument like all these and these all protects different type of specified human mind creativity sorry now before we proceed further try to understand nature and fundamental of ip rights these are very important to understand right what are the basic characteristics of ip rights whether that is a patent trademark copyright yahan par humne jo bhi discuss kiya patent trademark copyright what are its characteristics so this represents they are for the intangible asset human mind creativity fundamental they are also transferable like your physical assets they are territorial in the nature means which country you have registered they will be valid in those countries only quid pro quo something for something so government gives you exclusivity a exclusive right to creator only to you excluding all others so this is government gives you this right in exchange of something for something so government give you this exclusivity with a exchange of full disclosure of your know how your technical information with all the persons in the document so something for something so this exclusivity is given in exchange of full technical detail disclosure in terms of documentation which required to be submitted with the patent office or the government and those documents are freely available to everyone Uh, limitations and exceptions so government has also defined what are the limitations and exceptions what cannot be patented what cannot be copyrighted what cannot be design protected right these are the limitations and also given the exceptions right kis cheez par right anything which is anti social right whatever would be uh, creative right those cannot be patented which are harmful to the society so these are limitations and standard exceptions are also defined by the government under the these act patent act trademark act design act copyright act and these are time bound rights each type of ip comes with a time validity and this gives you a exclusivity and the monopoly and based on this exclusivity and monopoly you would have a competitive advantage into the market compared to the similar products which are produced by other manufacturers right and which because of this exclusivity and monopoly because of this competitive advantage it would really helpful for enhancing your trade for increasing your profitability so look these are fundamentally ipr it gives you a intangible asset 
right they doesn't have a physical form in the nature but how then how this is my idea i have created this invention i am the owner but how you will prove you are the owner so look what do you see when you file and register patent trademark design and copyright so whatever would be your creativity when you go through the defined government procedure as per the established patent trademark act when you fulfill all the requirement when you answer to all their queries you submit all the requirement and at the end government gives you certificate like this a trademark certificate like this light color a patent certificate right very light blue color design certificate light green color and a copyright certificate right this white color and this certificate look here is the national emblem government of india and here government gives you a certification like that yes we are doing that you are the owner for this xyz patent you are the owner for this patent design copyright and based on that you can say that yes i am the owner for xyz invention creation patent trademark copyright design right so whether like your physical asset right your very big house its ownership is also based on a piece of paper registration paper your 100 acre land you will prove based on your ownership based on the this piece of paper registration paper so similarly your any kind of human creativity can be proved and certified via this registration certificate issued by government only and this gives you the ownership right based on if you have ownership for the patent so based on this certificate if any other person is copying your invention you can ask him to stop right you cannot practice my patent right and that power is given by given to you by this certificate and if he is not he is not agreeing you can take legal action right and for taking the legal action this would be your base right you are the owner and he is misusing your property if you have any questions you can definitely ask any point of time directly or you can write your questions into chat box so look ip at all places around you so i have one question for all of you a simplified poll question right a poll uh, which question i would ask uh, umang sir to raise that question to all the participant how many of yes, you sir. think that ip is closely associated with our life whether there is a very small children or just born new baby or a very elderly person how it is applied or related with a you can say a very literate farmer or a mechanic person to a very learned person right so how many of you thinks that ip has a important role with everyone's life we have a question please give your ratings so class sir can we have a poll results or we can have it at the end of it yeah just a second sir i am putting into the particularly poll yes there is a question for all of you you just have to think uh, give answer yes or no right yeah, so directly you can uh, apply on a chat and you can say yes or no temporary poll is off right now so i think so we can see on a chat right 
मतलब ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कि एवरी वन हैज टू बी पॉजिटिव और यस ही बोलना है वट एवर वुड बी योर राइट थॉट यूर टू से ओके सो आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ हेज आंसर यस राइट सो देन आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन हाउ यू थिंक यस इट हैज अ वेरी हाईली कोर इलेवन विथ एवरी वन आंसर some of your thoughts but all of you are muted on uh, shift on muted right so let's see yeah the answer is very true ip is really very important and it plays a really important role in everyone's life right from a just newborn baby to a very elderly person who is just taking his last last breaths from a very illiterate farmer or a mechanic person or a very illiterate person to a very learned scientist right from a common man to a very great leader it plays a equally important role ip is associated very closely associated with every one of our life right and this look i have a certain examples to showcase over here and how you can say so the morning when you get up and you are a toothbrush right and we are when you are pasting taking a toothpaste whether that is a pepsodent colgate or patanjali so there comes a name colgate patanjali or a pepsodent it's a trademark when you are when we are communicating via this devices these are also some company old products either uh, apple dell lenovo microsoft or any other these are we are bound through a technology which are someone's creation whatever the food you are taking a very great science or technology is associated from taking them to from farm for reaching it to yourself and for getting it to be cooked right a pressurized cylinder to a uh, uh, package of food products what even the things you are using your specs your watch your clothes your shoes your bags they are also powered some or other kind of inventions creations right or even when you get into a sleep right so during that period as well ip is keep on playing the roles right the electricity or a fan or a, uh, any other monitoring systems so when you are awake or when you are sleeping so even the very illiterate person who doesn't know to how to read even if he is using the palleji biscuit or a colgate or a paragon slipper or any or any other good right which he buys from a, a market with a certain brand value or technology which he likes so why all these means and even the entertainment industry whatever the news you are reading whatever the blog you are reading whatever the literature you are studying right even the cartoon characters movies serials or even the premier leagues or even the editions but right? news debates all are also a part of ip protected by one or other type of ip instruments we will see how it is associated so look i have certain examples to showcase to you it is not so that one product can also only be protected by one type of ip one product is a bunch of ip bunch of ip so even if there is nothing written over here even without reading any of these words you are easily able to recall that this product is by the reebok why just looking at this sign a symbol and these companies have successfully planted into our mind right they have invested huge amount of efforts they have invested large amount of money to create this brand when i say just right what is this sign you are able to recall it's a night when i say just three lines it's adidas when i say a big yellow colored m you are able to recall my among uh, mcdonald when i say reliance tata adani ambani apple microsoft google facebook 
same time you are also able to recall their identity logo right so from a very established brand to a very small msme unit or even the startup when you are dreaming to start something you start by giving one name identity so that is the identity that protected by the trademark right and one product rebook itself has a many many product ranges party wear uh, you can say office wear or uh, sports shoes jogging shoes right or uh, you can say any other right so one of this segment is real flex how flexible it is one another trademark of the company real flex trademark confidential information unclosed uh, undisclosed technology it is so com uh, so so good product that you twist it by any means it will regain it to its original position without any damage to product a trade secret right external appearance so rebok itself manufactures thousand types of shoes variety each looking different from the other so the external look of this particular design or a product is protected by design copyright the box how it is been packed what is its color combination what is written on the box what would be a small leaflet inside the product or even the television advertisement this particular product or a brand they are protected by copyright and the its material the flexible washable or which has a greater durability those material manufacturing process all are protected by patent so any product around yourself right your communication device your furniture items your clothes your watch your shoes your automobiles your clothes your food one product every product around yourself at your home your office your college is a product and is a protected by a multiple types of ip instrument right and this is another example similarly for the medical instrument this is a inhaler device inhaler for asthmatic patient or the person who is having a breathing issues so sipla a indian pharmaceutical company a uh, trademark for the sipla itself this product they have named as a multi inhaler and this is also a trademark so the patent with respect to its design how it works the medicament what is uh, involved into it it manufacturing process they have patented it a trademark for the company and multi inhaler is protected by a trademark then the design how this device looks like is protected by design a trade secret what this device is made up of how it is made up of what is the chemical composition for the drug included over here how it has been prepared so that can be either protected by a patent or it, if they have not protected if they have kept secret it's their trade secret or copyright how that product is been packed into box wo box par kya content likha hai kya information diya hua hai uske andar jo ek leaflet hota hai all are protected by copyright so similarly this applies to everyone's life right with all the products are which are associated around ourselves so ip is useful as i said it right ip is useful for all the stakeholders of the society right whether they are researchers academicians industry people society or the government all the stakeholders ip is useful for every person and importantly even importantly it is applies all the technical domains in all industry types it is not say that ip is only applicable for the pharmaceutical food processing or ict or the engineering no it applies to name the technical domain or the industry type it has a presence whether that is a food processing leather industry or you are saying a transportation or a road and building construction or a mining or everywhere right so this is the field which is applicable to all technical domain of all the industry types and it caters to all the stakeholders of the society now look certain examples to give you the insight why ip is important and what wonder actually creates right 
So look, here the one example is given of the simplified iPhone, Apple company, right? So look, what make Apple the richest company in the world? Apple is the richest company in the world. The recently Apple has crossed the valuation of two trillion dollar. Two trillion dollar, right? In India, our government is giving a target that by 2025, a country of 1.25 billion people having a greater GDP, large number of corporations, and we cumulatively as a country, our government is giving a target to reach to a position of $5 trillion economy. Entire country. This is our target. And the Apple, the one the private sector company of the USA, one company's valuation is two trillion dollar, right? And this look how it has become so rich company. This is greatly based on the IP, and this you can say like that: thirty-two GB iPhone seven, whose retail price was nearly six fifty dollar, right? Who's manufacturing? Jo product iPhone 7 jo company based the market may 650 per sell out per day. Jiska original product cost company has nearly $220, including of all the component manufacturing and all that $250, $220. And rest nearly $450. Around $450 goes to company's profitability. If you remove all the costs regarding advertisement or all so it has a great 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 profitability and even though why are knowing all these facts even though when company launches new product people are making a line outside their stores before one day two day not only uh, not only in india but also into the developed countries people are made about the iphone or uh, apple products Right? So look, so because of the brand value, Apple, right? The cutted Apple. So whatever the company is defining, right? Whether that is a iPod, Apple, uh, you can say iPhone, or your Mac products, or uh, any other software, right? Or any appearance. So whatever the company, look, even after, look, even after the valuation of $2 trillion, the interesting fact about Apple is that even though having so great value, the on present day company doesn't have a single manufacturing plant of its ownership, not only in USA, but nowhere in the entire world. Are you getting it? Company, Apple company doesn't any manufacturing plant of its own. They just got their product assembled by a contract manufacturing from other companies. They doesn't manufacture any product by their own self. They just develop the products, develops the technology, then get it product uh, produced from others and they do a great, great, great market. They, re they are able to ask greater amount of price from the customers and customers are happily paying them and which makes the company so 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 great the value of a brand apple the value of a product or a technology they are protected by means of of patents trademarks copyrights and design so similarly is the example of you can say other products like look at the example of a google just nearly 30 year old company, which started by just two PhD students from a Stanford University. As their PhD project, they have developed a computer program, right? And you understand computer program, you write a code with some logics. All of you are a computer student, you greatly understand what this means. Computer program with certain examples or some logics validation. And what that, uh, uh, what that code is particularly doing, they dig the information available on internet and based on your input, 
they are giving the better page ranking of the information which are most relevant results as per your input and based on their just one computer program algorithm development right based on that computer program within a period of 30 years apple become the most reputed brand in today's time so that is the power of idea human mind creativity look at the example of whatsapp right i just today morning so one idea a video which says that the founder of a whatsapp he has a great great cv he has a great profile he used to give a recruitment viva uh, or the place at all the giant companies like a twitter facebook google and all that no company has recruited him and that fellow has created a whatsapp right and that company has been acquired nearly 7 years before by what's uh, facebook at the valuation of 19 billion dollar computer program ek application banaya jisse base par aap communicate right that is been acquired by facebook 19 billion dollar and just evolved 19 billion dollar we are saying we are not understanding its value 19 billion dollar 1 billion means 100 crore 1 billion means 100 crore so try to assume 90 ke badle 20 billion dollar 20 billion means 20 into 100 2000 crore again dollar 2000 crore dollar again multiply it by 70 the 70 right so 2000 into 70 One lakh forty thousand crore Indian rupees. One rupee is equal to one crore, like that. One lakh forty thousand, forty thousand crore rupees. At that price, this book has purchased what? A fifty fifty guy. Who are managing entire world's operation? Some steam, right? So that is the wealth of your human mind today. So that is just a billion. You can say nineteen billion dollar. When you are valuing, when you convert Apple's valuation into rupee, it would be you cannot calculate. One trillion is equal to thousand billion. Two thousand billion. Two trillion means two thousand billion dollar. Two thousand billion. Again, multiply by hundred. So two thousand into hundred. Twenty thousand. Two lakh crore dollar. Two. And again, multiply by seventy. Two lakh seventy. Right. So nearly. One hundred forty lakh crore rupees, right? That is the company, and even with no manufacturing facility. So this is the value of IBM, right? So these are the great examples to make you understand. But this is not only it means it is not only said that this only applies to bigger company. This equally applies to every single human being as well. What I say, like a, what? How the what? What's the founder? If he got job in a Twitter, Google, or Facebook, he wouldn't be able to create WhatsApp. Similarly, you are an ICT student. Similarly, if you are creating such great product by using some some uh, computer program, and if you are keep on building, you can be a next job, having a valuation of more than one billion dollar. Okay. So this is the value of IP and the human mind created it. So in India, right? So how it is governed in India? So IP, as I said, it is governed by the India government of India. Under the government of India, we have a department like uh, the Ministry, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry, there is one department, DP.
हेलो उमंग सर सॉरी माइट बी इंटरनेट इश्यू फ्रॉम द एक्सपर्ट साइड ही इज जॉइनिंग विद इन अ फाइव मिनट जस्ट वेट जस्ट फॉर द फाइव मिनट ओके ही इज नियर टू द सेशन एंड आई कम्युनिकेटेड विद हिम जस्ट गिव फोर फाइव मिनट वी हैव क्वीज आफ्टर दिस पर्टिकुलर फाइव मिनट एंड आई विल गिविंग द क्वीज लिंक टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड देन आफ्टर गिविंग क्वीज यू कैन लीव द सेशन राइट Thank you. Amit sir, uh, now you are the presenter, and now you can start, this, sir. So, sorry for the technical error, friends. I got disconnected. So this. the ip system in india working government of india is the supreme authority under the commerce and industry is there and under this ministry there are various department one is known as bpiit earlier known as dipp so this department looks after the functioning of the patent office this patent office regulates this patent trademark copyright design all these types right creativity and this is how look i will just Uh, not take much time and will brief just this slide so patent so what kind of human mind creativity is protected by patent so it protects innovative product and process using your brain using your thoughts if you have made one technical solution for a one process or one product development or even a brand new product brand new process those can be protected by patent or even very small amendment very small changes to existing product or process you are making right a very small change into one product or process that very small change can also be protected by patent so we, as a academics here we have a mindset like that patent means a rock science only persons having a access for a greater resources can only do research and that can only be patented no a very small invention for any any part of your life you are a it guy but if you are solving mechanical problem and just very small feature addition into existing products so very that very small feature can be protected by patent protects product design design protects creative items any external creative look of any article this which is a just external look right with respect to sex you have a thousand types of variation with respect to watch you have a thousand types of variation with respect to shoes your pen mobile phone automobile a uh, house utensils your chairs tables or a kitchen 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 wares lights or anything including of text products आपने जो सर्ट या फिर टॉप या फिर जो भी फैब्रिक पहना हुआ है उसका जो क्रिएटिविटी डिजाइन है ज्वेलरीज सो ऑल जस्ट एक्सटर्नल लुक ऑफ एनी आर्टिकल दोज कैन बी प्रोटेक्टेड बाय डिजाइन ट्रेडमार्क सो ट्रेडमार्क प्रोटेक्ट्स ऑफ अ बिजनेस आई एम इट सेल्फ और लोगो इट राइट सो नेम ऑफ अ कंपनी और लोगो ऑफ अ कंपनी और देर प्रोडक्ट they are protected by a trademark geographical indication so this protects distinctive products coming from a special geographical region which has a specific characteristic due to the environmental condition due to the special skill set of the worker like 
रतलामी सेव नागपुर ऑरेंज तिरुपति लड्डू बासमती राइस दार्जिलिंग टी केसर गीर गिरनी केसर कैरी सूरत नो लोचो राइट स्विट्जरलैंड चॉकलेट जर्मन ऑटोमोबाइल सो दीज आर ऑल द टाइप ऑफ जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन लोकेशन एंड द गुड कॉपी राइट सो कॉपी राइट प्रोटेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ युअर थॉट्स इन अ टेन्जिबल मीडियम whether in terms of a book in terms of software taking a photograph taking a video or even cartoon characters all those items right a serials movies a premier leagues or a, a reality so all comes under the copyright semiconductor integrated circuit layout design so any creations with respect to new processor new chips new circuitry board designs which makes your de uh, device compact and powerful those creations can be protected by semiconductor design so this is how these are different types of ipr and using each different type of ip products suitable suitable type of human creative so if you have developed a tech uh, developer technology certainly it can be protected by patent but if based on that technology if you are preparing the products right so those products can have a design look as well can have a brand name as well can have a copyright as well so one article can be a bunch of ipr but these are specified this instrument protects specific aspect of the human mind right so this is all from my side for today's class right i have some more slide but we have to stop over here right so if you have any questions you can directly ask to me or you can always write a email to myself or you can give me a call thank you all sir uh, if i want to ask a question let me know hmm okay. uh sir uh, if a, a per person wants to uh, patent a particular application or we can say some system or software can can they in india uh they cannot protect by means of patent okay they can certainly protect by means of a copyright and trademark okay right this is the adobe ka brand hai that can be trademark and the basic code can be copyrighted but if you develop something kind of a new so computer program which is embedded with a completely new hardware hmm completely new hardware which is not matlab aisa nahi ki mobile phone available hai to apne assemble kiya aur wo mobile phone mein install karoge aisa nahi completely new hardware embedded with a new software that can be patented okay thank you sir hmm. uh i i just wanted to ask a question sir what about some uh, sort of algorithm or something so if we develop uh, uh, some unique uh, so in terms of a uh, computer program only so uh, that doesn't require some uh, any sort of external hardware or so uh, can we do patent of that particular thing so prasan this is the same uh, with respect to Uh, the same answer what i had uh, your answer the computer program whether that is a algorithm a software or a mobile application a game or web browser or anything so algorithm is also ultimately computer program right so as per indian laws we our government has given us for a trademark right they cannot be protected by means of patent they can only be protected by copyright but look uh, you are thinking like that why government is so uh, this policy or this trend of government is not not in your favor you will are developing something and government is not permitting us to take a patent so what kind of laws government is making but friends 
try to understand if government has permitted this thing to be patented the maximum beneficiary would be the western companies the bigger companies like a uh, facebook apple microsoft and all those google because whatever you thinking you are thinking today they might all think of the same ideas or the same concept 10 years before and if they are protected by means of patent into india our it industry couldn't grow right so this is government's good initiative or government's foresight for the protection of india's india's you can say stand and that's why strategically government has denied for not to give patent rights on the computer related inventions okay so look if you have any question you can ask me via writing email or any time right i think uh, if you have uh, if time permits and if faculty member permits we can take one more one or two more question or uh, we may conclude over here sure sir yes if student have a question we may ask for one or two uh, we may take one or two more questions or if the faculty members permit we can take more as well yeah so i am inviting all students uh, and uh, if you have any question uh, feel free to ask to amit sir uh, so if you have any question you may ask or any kind of any feedback you want to share you can share sofin uh, can you share the any kind of feedback that you got from today's session uh, yes sir uh, the session was very informative uh, no doubt this uh, topics were new to us but uh, we thoroughly uh, got the detailed information via amit sir and we thank the thank our institute for uh, giving us the opportunity for holding such sessions and uh giving such a knowledge to us thank you thank you amit sir thank you sofi thank you yeah uh, so uh, i think so sir uh, we can take one uh, photograph together so i am requesting to all of you uh, to turn on the camera so what we can do we can take one uh, quick uh, kind of photograph and then we can also uh, display on our social media and everywhere so i am requesting all of you to turn on the camera so we can do that quickly Yeah, so thank you everyone i have taken the camera uh, photographs of all of you thank you everyone and now i am going to uh, now i am going to give a particularly uh, inviting time to conclude the session so neha ma'am you can now go ahead and i am also sharing the quiz link for all of you thanks to everyone to remaining present and to give a really wonderful session and uh, i think so behalf of uh, i think so our principal sir and hod sir right and uh, entire team like uh, thakkar sir and all the coordinator uh, i am thanking you on behalf of everyone 
uh, that you have spare time and even though you have a spare time to prepare a quiz uh, for the fruitful uh, and also when the students and all the other member if they are giving any kind of uh, quiz they are also able to get the knowledge from your side so i am really thankful to you to connecting entirely week and also giving number of input to uh, successfully making this event uh, really thanks to you sir thank you sir thank you sir it's my pleasure to be with all of you yes yeah, sir neha ma'am your voice is not audible Is it audible? Yes, now it's audible. Please continue. Thank you, sir. So, honourable and respected Professor Dharmesh Darji, valuable staff members, and invited students, it is my privilege to offer thanks on this occasion. I, Professor Neha Rajput, on behalf of my entire organisation, would like to express our sincere thanks for today's speaker and expert, Mr. Amit Kumar Patel, for giving best knowledge about the topic and showing gratitude. for exposing his theory for the same uh, we are all inspired by your great words sir okay so uh, in i would like to end up this session here all the participants are requested to attend the quiz uh, the link is already been posted in the chat window so just go through it and thank you again for your time and support thank you sir thank you everyone right professor dharma is professor among neha ben all the faculty members all the students Sir, sir, you know, all the team of Ganpat uh, University and the students. Thank you. Right. Okay. Good day. Thank you very much. So much. Thank you so much, sir, for giving your Thank time. Thank you so much. Sir. Have a great day. Bye bye. Have a great day, sir. Thank you. Participants, please it's go okay. through the quiz. Yeah. Okay. Is uh, the link is already posted in the chat window? Just go through it.